This video will explain the three most evil yokai in Japan. So, first of all, let me briefly explain what a yokai is. A yokai is a mysterious creature or spiritual being that appears in Japanese legends and folk tales. These can be humans, animals, natural phenomena, and even inanimate objects. Although yokai are often beings that strike fear into the hearts of humans, some yokai also have humans. Typical examples include ogres, kappa, and tengu. Shooting doji. Shuten Doji is believed to be the child of Yamato Narodochi, the oldest and most powerful yokai in Japanese mythology, and is known as the most powerful demon. It derives its name from its superhuman strength, and its many actions that have terrified people. For example, Shuten Doji united other demons in the 90s to attack travelers, and perform other terrible deeds, which have made him one of the most powerful and feared figures in Japanese legend. Shuten Doji was famous for terrorizing Kyoto, and his brutal actions instilled a deep sense of fear in the people. People began to fear his name as stories of his attacks on people around Kyoto, and other horror stories spread. Shuten Doji's actions have become a powerful symbol of fear in Japanese folklore, the confrontation between Shuten Doji and Minamoto. No Yorimitsu is one of the most famous stories in Japanese legend. Shuten Doji led a large number of demons from his base in Mount Oi to ravage the then capital of Japan. Minamoto no Yorimitsu and his men went to Mount Oi to defeat Shuten Doji. Dressed as mountain priests, they visited the castle of Shuten Doji and sought lodging for the night. When he was drunk, they armed themselves and attacked his sleeping quarters. They cut off Shuten Doji's head and killed the demons under his command. However, even after being decapitated, Shuten Doji tried to bite Yorimitsu's helmet. Yorimitsu, however, put on his helmet over his head and escaped. The demon Shuten Doji cursed Yorimitsu and said, Demons do not play cowardly tricks, as he met his end. This story is loved by many as a symbol of justice triumphant over evil. Shuten Doji has greatly influenced Japanese horror culture. His terrifying legend has served as inspiration for many scary tales and urban legends. For example, many movies, animations, and novels have been made based on Shuten Doji. As such, Shuten Doji plays a very important role in Japanese horror culture. Comparisons between the Shuten Doji and monsters in Western legends and folklore are interesting to explore the similarities and differences between cultures. This comparison allows us to see how the tales of the monster passed down between different cultures are similar, or how the, the Nine-Tailed Fox. The Nine-Tailed Fox is a fascinating specter that originated in Chinese folklore and appears in Japanese legend. Its origins lie in ancient China, where it was later incorporated into Japanese tales and developed in its own unique way. The story of the Nine-Tailed Fox, which appears in old Chinese literature, came to Japan and became known as Tanimei. The Nine-Tailed Fox plays an important role in linking the Chinese and Japanese legends. The Nine-Tailed Fox plays an important role in the Japanese tale, as a woman named Tamamomi. She appears as a courtesan to the emperor, and captivates the story with her beauty and magical powers. Tamamomi approaches the emperor and develops a relationship with him, but ultimately her true identity is revealed, leading to her downfall. The story of Tamamomi depicts the mysterious powers of the Nine-Tailed Fox, and its relationship with the human world. The Nine-Tailed Fox has greatly influenced fantasy novels, movies, anime, and video games. Its mystical and alluring nature adds a unique element in the fantasy genre. In many anime and video games, the magical powers and transformative abilities of the Nine-Tailed Fox play an important role, sometimes as a major character. The Nine-Tailed Fox has influenced many works as a fascinating element that enriches the fantasy world. The birth of the Nine-Tailed Fox has its origins in Chinese folklore. The Nine-Tailed Fox at this time is passed down as a woman named Gumi, who destroyed the Shang dynasty in ancient China. However, the Nine-Tailed Fox escaped being discovered and newly defeated as a demon, and after arriving in Japan, she began her activities as Tanamo Mei. The Nine-Tailed Fox experienced cultural changes during its journey from China to Japan. Emperor Sutoku Emperor Sutoku was a real-life Japanese emperor who later morphed into a legend as a grudge. The difficulties during his reign and the tragic end of his reign, after his downfall were the cause of the grudge legend. Emperor Sutoku was defeated in a political struggle, and after losing his office, he suffered and died in a certain incident, and his grudge came to be passed down as a powerful grudge spirit. Thus, Emperor Sutoku is known as an example of the transformation of a real historical figure into a legendary grudge spirit. After being exiled to Sunuki province, Emperor Sutoku became deeply devoted to Buddhism, ultimately creating the legend of him as a grudge spirit. The solitude and suffering he endured during his exile deepened his faith in Buddhism, and over a period of three years, he compiled an important Buddhist manuscript in ten volumes. 
Wishing for a paradise, Emperor Shiotoku asked the temples in the capital to contain the sutras he had copied. However, the emperor's entourage refused, suspecting that the sutras contained a curse. When he saw the sutra sent back to the emperor, he was so enraged that he bit out his tongue, causing it to bleed, and wrote the curse words, We have fallen into the demon world. This action was the event that caused his deep anger, and gave birth to the later legend of the vengeful spirit. Emperor Sutoku's grudge had a profound impact on Japanese history and culture. His grudge was associated with many natural disasters, and political events that were feared by the people. For example, there were two historic fires, and many monks, sensing the grudge against Emperor Sutoku, rushed to the capital to appeal directly to him leading to further conspiracies ended up unseating him. All of these events actually took place within a period of less than two years. All of them were attributed to the grudge against Emperor Sutoku, and the people of the time performed various rituals in an attempt to gain his forgiveness. The grudge spirit of Emperor Sutoku is regarded as a particularly powerful influence in Japanese legend. Comparisons between the grudge of Emperor Sutoku and other Japanese Grudge legends can help deepen cultural understanding. There are many tales of grudge spirits in Japan, and the legend of Emperor Sutoku is one of the most famous. Comparison with other grudge legends reveals the unique characteristics and depth of the story of Emperor Sutoku's grudge. The legend of Emperor Sutoku occupies a special place in Japanese grudge culture and stands out for its unique aspects when compared to other grudge legends. The story of Emperor Sutoku is a stunning example of a real historical figure transformed into legend and fiction, the gap between his actual life, and the grudge as a legend illustrates the fusion of history and fiction, the actual reign of Emperor Sutoku, and the tale of him as a grudge spirit passed down to posterity, are interesting examples of how real events and invented stories can be connected, in this way, the story of Emperor Sutoku helps us understand how historical fact, and legend can be interwoven. How was it? This video explained the three most evil yokai in Japan. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like this video. History Spectrum.